All right, folks, check this out. This is how stupid it, things are becoming. Murphy announcing he'll be closing the Edna Mahan women's prison. This comes as the governor's office releases an investigative report into the January cell extractions of the prison. Murphy says he's, quote, disturbed and disgusted by the horrific attacks and that excessive force will not be tolerated. He also mentions relocating current inmates to a new facility or other facilities. Edna Mahan is the only women's prison in, a, in the state. What new facility? What what new facility? The whole idea is there was a bunch of guards that got caught raping the girls and getting away with it for years and years and years and years. And yes, I was a victim of one of those situations. Um, yeah, nobody hears my story. I'm just a scumbag. You know, what the fuck? Guess my color's not right. So, they're going to close this prison? What is he thinking? thinking why don't you do the right thing and retrain all those officers if you got rid of the bad ones well actually you didn't get rid of the bad ones because the one that that messed with me is still an officer there yeah another reason i just can't stand the system of 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 corruption that goes on within our doc it's horrible horrible I'm so glad now that I'm fat and old. Listen, in my days, I used to be pretty nice looking, and the guys used to chase me like no tomorrow, whether they were cops or not. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I had myself in kind of a situation there. You know, uh, <clears throat> I just don't understand what his line of thinking is. But, uh, yep, it's going to close the prison. What the hell is he thinking? There are actual people there that are actual. Listen, I live with these people for 14 months. They need to be in prison. Not just for a little bit, for the rest of their lives. There's this one lady I was with. She was f sitting down with her husband one day, and the guy's like, Where's the kids? And she kind of ignored him. She's like, he goes, well, where's the kids? Aren't they going to sit down and eat? And he, she looked up at him and said, yeah, you're eating them right now. Yeah. She fed her husband the kids. Another situation, they were, a uh, woman was, uh, she put her kids inside the, the dead bones inside the house. She left the house. The kids are missing. She left the house. She comes back. And sells the house. Well, the new owners f started smelling something. It wasn't just bones. There were, I guess there was meat still left on the bones. They started rotting out inside the, uh, the, 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 the wall. And the new owners came in and, and the police were called. But yeah, she threw, put her kids inside the wall. Here's another one for you. I was, ne I was in the, the, the room... With the woman that she was on Time Magazine or People Mag, I think People Magazine. She was in People Magazine. She was a foster parent, and she had three kids of her own, and she fostered three. She starved them out. She wouldn't let them leave the house. They were skin and bones. One of them got out, and he was eating in the trash bin next door. He was eating chicken bones in the trash trash bin of the next door neighbor. And the next door neighbor's like, where did you come from? Little black kid. They live in a white community. He's like, you know, kind of unusual. You know, not not, not the kind of kid, I guess, that was supposed to be in the, that was usually in that area. And they questioned him. He was, I think, 15, and he looked like 10 or 11 years old because he was so malnutritioned. Well, she came into my room. I didn't know who she was. I handed her a Bible and, you know, kept it myself for a minute. And they were like, oh, Denise, you know who that is? You know who that is? And I'm like, who? And they told me her story. Now, she had all lined up on top of her, uh, her, uh, she had lined up inside of her, her cell up on the cubby hole there, a bunch of fruits and vegetables and bread and milk that she took home from, from, from mess hall 
I took them all. I grabbed a garbage can, a big one. I grabbed a garbage can and I hauled it down the aisle with everybody watching me. They knew I was going to do something. They know me. I'm the bully of the bullies. So I took the dark garbage can. I walked right down to the fucking cell we were living in. And I put all of her shit right inside the garbage can. I said, now you starve, bitch. Yeah, there's people in there that don't need to be out in society. So I don't know what new prison he's talking about. What new prison? For the victims that are actually victimized by the police department, you're going to put them probably in a co-ed prison where they're going to get more abuse. Yeah, none of this makes any sense. All right, folks, thanks for listening.